Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Bitcoin. This thing has been rallying again. Now it's past 16,000. Currently it is 16,266. How much further is it going to run up? Where's the resistance level? Should we be buying Bitcoin, Ether, Ripple, all three, or something else? I want to give you guys an update today in a 10 minute YouTube video. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street guy, former hedge fund guy. Travel the world and then came back to Tokyo. Just started YouTube this year. Would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel below and press the button. Currently, right now, the time is uh, Japan time. It is in Tokyo, uh, 4:28 p.m. on November 16th. Currently, it is 2:28 a.m. in New York. Uh, just to give you guys an update, right now, uh, Bitcoin is trading on the spot price at 16,000. 267 now i want to give you guys today an update on looking at the charts looking at the positioning and give you my quick opinion on where i think price of bitcoin is going let's first start with the charts as usual guys if you don't understand the lingo that i talk about please review the videos below in my description area so you guys get a good idea as to what i'm talking about and probably a better use of your time so let's take a look here we're looking right now at bitcoin the spot price i look at the spot price not at the futures price mainly because bitcoin for the most part most of it trades the biggest volume in the spot, not really the futures price. And I generally recommend holding Bitcoin on a digital uh, wallet in terms of like a ledger uh, instead of trading the futures because I do think that it is a nice long term investment. Uh, right looking right now at the price right now, I'm looking at the daily chart and it's clearly going up. It's been skyrocketing lately. It's had a very nice move. Uh, it was nearly at 4000 just in March during the uh, coronavirus crash. And now it's gone up quite a bit. Now, the real question we all have is, is how much further is this going to go? or Where is it going to keep going? Do remember, guys, that Bitcoin started really rallying fast here around October 20, 21st when PayPal notified that they would start using cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin in their money transfer services. And we're starting to have more and more bigger volume here and the price has gone up. Now, the first thing I noticed is that the volume has been tapering the last few days. It's been sort of going down, which is a negative sign in my opinion. Before it was trading above its 20 day moving average, which is this orange line. Now it's sort of going below. I don't think that that's a very good sign. Looking at the MACD right now, clearly the MACD is still above the signal moving line, uh, indicating that the uptrend is still in place at the moment. But do note that it's a little bit dangerous here in terms of maybe the MACD signal, a MACD blue line may cross below the orange signal line, indicating that a down move may come. RSI right now indicating to me that it's still above 74 and it's continuing to sort of go up in its uptrend until it breaks below here maybe to below 60 or 50 i wouldn't say that a downtrend is in place looking at bitcoin the bollinger band right now it's sort of inside its bollinger band i don't think it's really showing anything now let's see here in terms of resistance levels or uh, whatnot if we're near anything uh near term that will may show a resistance level right now i don't really see a resistance level um let's zoom out here at a more five-year range yeah there's not much of a resistance level here the next point of resistance level would likely be you know looking around here based on 2018 um it looks like we're right there right now right around 16,000. 16,000. you see here these levels here around 60,000. the weekly uh end here 16,200 was a big level uh on january 1st 2018 this is really when the price was still skyrocketing so i'd say we are right at the resistance level right now the big one all right now i'm looking at the weekly chart not the daily chart because where the price closes on the week i think is more important than the day so right now i think the big resistance level we are currently right there if the, it does surpass here then the next one should probably be likely around 17,000 or so okay so now let's compare this and let's start looking at let's say uh the the positioning report as well on bitcoin bitcoin right now i'm looking at the cotc legacy report the uh positioning report looking at asset manager positions for the futures again guys i usually look at the spot price but just in case sometimes i just want to look at the futures as well because this futures there are a lot of speculators involved a lot of macro funds involved in bitcoin right now Looking right now, I mean, the position is just high. And unfortunately, I can't really compare this with 2018 as the futures only started trading recently in 2018. So I can't compare this with early January or end of 2017 when there was really a bubble. So I don't think that this is very useful at the moment. Uh, the key question I also have is maybe if it's not Bitcoin, then 
maybe is there something else that we should be looking at and this is the second part of my video that i want to start going into now ripple and ether so i usually look at the uh, main three top market capitalization for these cryptos i try not to bother too much with the other ones i've been playing around in these cryptos for a while ever since 2013 i bought a little bit of bitcoin then very small amount unfortunately it didn't uh, make me super super rich uh, based on what i bought but uh it did it still was a still good performance nonetheless and um since then, I like to sort of get involved in the larger ones because the smaller ones, they just come and go and it's just so messy and there's plenty of money to be made just in playing the top three. And the top three by market cap are Bitcoin, Ether and Ripple, as of I know. OK, so let's look at, let's say, the chart for Ether here. Now, the chart in Ether is in a very different situation. Bitcoin, do note that, guys, it has skyrocketed way past two, any, any levels from 2020, right? And it's gone straight up. It's way past the coronavirus highs. If we look at Ether here, it's at 455 right now, the spot price. It's way past coronavirus highs, but it hasn't yet surpassed the September, <coughs> excuse me, 2020 level at the moment. So this is in a little bit of a different situation. Uh, and also do note that it's already starting to curl here a little bit. A little bit looking like a little bit dangerous to me that perhaps it could start going down. The volume is quite low. There was never really the speculation for, you know, when the PayPal news came out, <coughs> Ether did go up, but it didn't go up that much. So I'd be a little bit worried right now on the price. Looking at the MACD, it's still in an uptrend at the moment. It still hasn't crossed through, so I don't think anything to worry about there. RSI, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit dangerous here. Um... If it does cross through, it cross through above below 50, then I'd say it's a little bit dangerous. Looking at the Bollinger Band, it's still in the middle of its Bollinger Band. Otherwise, I don't see that much for Ether. The next resistance level that I would see is... Mm, let's zoom out here, go back to the five-year chart. It seems like we're at a big resistance level right now. 455, 455, yeah, I mean, four... Yeah, I have to say this is right around. We're very close. 474, 460, 450. This is a big resistance level on the way down in July 2018. Also on the way up on uh, November of 2017. So I think this is a big resistance level right now. Interestingly, it seems that Ether is also at a resistance level, not just Bitcoin. Okay, finally, now let's look at Ripple. Ripple is the one that I've actually been investing in recently, and I've been recommending it to people just based on technical analysis. I thought it's been a laggard. Now, Ripple is in a very different situation, and I enjoy Ripple. I like Ripple. Uh, I like because I mainly like the charts. Now, Ripple, totally different chart here. Look at this. So it's below the August and September highs at the moment, and it's still below the pre-coronavirus highs it still hasn't really broken through this trend line here that you could see we have a bit of a trend line going on here and it's looking like it wants to test the trend line at the moment now let's zoom in here because i think that you see here right now there's been a little bit of an impetus here there's been a nice zigzag move up you see a double bottom double bottom plus this is an increasing trend double increasing uh what is it Incline, I in, sorry, my English is not coming out. An inclining bottom here, where this bottom is lower, is higher than this bottom, and we're seeing here a nice, I think, uh, almost like a, yeah, yeah, a bottoming formation, and now a Z up. So this looks like a very nice pattern to me. <coughs> the chart, the resistance level, I think it has to break is around 0 0.28 at the moment. Looking at the volume, volume is not big, but yeah, volume is nothing special at the moment, unfortunately. MACD to me looks very different. MACD is not showing any sort of sign that it is going to cross over below. And RSI is also showing that it is in a nice increasing trend. It still hasn't even gotten through 70 at the moment. Looking at the Bollinger Band, it's still it's near a little bit of the top of the Bollinger Band, but nothing I think really to worry about at the moment. So next line for Ether is 0 0.28. If it breaks through here, if it breaks through here, I think that the next resistance level is 0 0.3. Potentially, I'd say even 0 0.32. I think it could go for this one because this is such a recent uh, top here. You know, when we were looking at Bitcoin and Ether, we were looking at tops, you know, way back to based on 2018, 2017. Ripple, it only has to surpass a recent resistance level. So resistance levels are often based time based. So something that's more recent, I think, is easier to uh, to top through than something that's from a long time ago. So Bitcoin and Ether have already kind of gotten, uh, you know, maybe relatively a little bit overvalued for just versus Ripple at the moment. I agree long term, they're still good. So my pick 
pick would probably still be Ripple. So looking at all this, what is my recommendation to you guys? And as usual, guys, investment is self-responsibility. Please make your own decisions at the end of the day. And guys, long term, I've been generally recommending investing in Bitcoin, Ether, Ripple, any of your cryptos in this commodity region. Save it for retirement. This is for long term. Every single month, take up a little portion of your salary and put it into a long term investment. For short term investing right now, I think you ride the trend mainly just in Ripple. Ripple is the only one I think that the chart looks good here. It's in this nice Z formation. It's about to go up here. If it breaks through 0.28, I would buy even more because it's probably going to go to 0.3. It's my favorite instead of Bitcoin or Ether. If you do want to hedge, then maybe hedge and short a little bit of Bitcoin. But I don't think it's necessary at the moment because the trend is nice right at the moment. And also note that the correlation has really come back here between Bitcoin and the other currencies. Bitcoin and let's say Ripple before they was not trading together at all in November. Now the correlation's back and it's high. So if Bitcoin keeps moving up, it's probably going to push Ripple. Also, the correlation is back with Ether. Before it was low in November, now it's back. Now indicating to me that the macro funds are involved and they're buying together Bitcoin, Ripple, Ether, Ripple, Ether. So if more and more money goes into Bitcoin, it's probably going to push up Ether and Ripple as a result. Somebody, sorry guys, I got to tickle my throat. Thanks guys for watching my video today. If you enjoy the content, please press the like button below and please subscribe to my channel going forward. Look forward to my next video because the Nikkei is skyrocketing as well. I want to do an update on the Japanese stock index as well. So look forward to that. Thanks so much guys. Have a great day and stay safe.